probably the most capable way of taking advantage of any multi-core platform today. Um, you know, Sun ships machines with over a hundred CPUs, and you know we we you know, you know, put a lot of effort into making it so that the 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 the, 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 the current JVM runs just fine with a hundred CPUs. Um, in fact, we we. We actually test it up to like half a terabyte of RAM, and you know, I think we're probably the only people that build systems of that scale. Right? And so, while those 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 scale machines don't make much sense for most people, um, you know, as we you know watch Moore's law crank out for another few years, um, you know, the the number of cores and you know, desktops and even cell phones. I mean, people are starting to do multi-core processors in cell phones. Um, they've tended to do them for a while, but they're sort of different, sort of different CPUs in that they'll do like like a DSP and an, app, and an application CPU. But now they're doing like true multi-core stuff in some of the, some of the handsets. Um, so Java deals with multi-core extremely well. And you find that all the way from you know the finest details in the way that the JVM is implemented to a lot of the libraries, um, and all of the libraries have um, you know the ability to deal with sort of multi-core situations. Um, there, there, there are almost no single-threaded Java applications in the world. 